Hey peeps, hope y'all are well. I uh, miss you guys. I wanted to give you a couple quick updates. First, uh, thank you to Dan for um, continuing our series on Do Not Be Afraid, preaching Psalm 23. Love that passage. I appreciate him sharing his heart Sunday. We have one more sermon in that series, and then we're moving on to a new series. Uh, thank you for sharing the the live stream for sharing the videos on youtube with friends and family it's been very cool I, it's kind of an unexpected thing um to see us move beyond the walls through video it's not exactly what i would prefer uh, but it's amazing to see how god has used it so thank you for sharing that it's been cool to hear the stories of how god has used it um that being said this next Sunday, or excuse me, this next Sunday will be the last sermon in that series. And then the Sunday after, I'm starting a series called Abnormal. And to give you a little bit of insight, um, I've just been hearing this phrase a ton, uh, the new normal, or getting back to normal. And it's just, honestly, it's kind of bothered me. I, I keep hearing that phrase, and I think, I don't want to get back to normal. I mean, I feel like there's so much that I've learned during this season that I want to remember. Now, granted, there are certainly some things I would love to get back to normal, like, you know, the ability to get a haircut. Um, I'm kind of out of control, even though I don't have much to work with. Um, I'd love to get a haircut. I'd love to be able to go get chips and salsa at Las Maracas or go see a movie uh, in an actual movie theater, not like in my PJs eating Cheetos, right? So there are definitely some things I would love to get back to normal. However, there are a lot of things that I, I want to change as I've thought about what matters to me. Um, you know, how often have we lamented people being around each other with a bunch of cell phones, texting each other, or, you know, not paying attention to the people right in front of them? And... During this season, all I want to do is talk to people face to face. I can't wait for us to worship, worship shoulder to shoulder again, uh, to sing next to each other, to to be physically present with each other. Um, it's revealed idolatry in my life. It's it's revealed materialism. It's reminded me of what really matters. And so, as I think about Jesus' challenge for us to be a people who are abnormal to be a people who are set apart, to be a people who are willing to look foolish uh, for the gospel and uh, for the person of, and the lordship of Jesus. Like, I want us to learn to be abnormal coming out of this. I want us to not forget the lessons that we've learned. So we're going to get into that series in two weeks. I'm excited about what I'm going to share with you. Also, uh, second update. Uh, we've been paying close attention to what's happening on a national level and on a local level with COVID-19, uh, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. I know that you can't escape it right now, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, there's been some very encouraging developments. Um, there's been a flattening of the curve, but I want you to understand we're going to be patient. Um, we as a staff are praying about what our next steps are and we really want to take baby steps as opposed to big ones um, and and we want to be patient even with the baby steps so we're asking you to pray for us that the lord would give us wisdom and i want to encourage you i, I know that some of you are like look hey it doesn't bother me or i'm i'm willing to take a risk or whatever it might be and i i, I appreciate that uh, at the same time there are a lot of folks around us who are at risk um, for one reason or another. And this is an opportunity for us to love our neighbors well. This is a great application of loving our neighbors. And so even though you may be willing to take a risk, I want to encourage you to be patient uh, thinking about others more than yourself. Because what we do, what you and I do, affects the lives of others. So all that being said, continue to pray for our staff as we figure out what our next steps are. And we'll let you know those as soon as we possibly can. Uh, lastly, um, uh, I want to encourage you to watch a video on an update on women's ministry. If you got this by email, uh, you would have received it in the email or it's on Facebook and uh, or on our YouTube channel. So 
want to encourage you to watch that. I don't want to steal any thunder. Um, but even if you're not a women's, you can still watch it. We'd love for you to know what's going on. Uh, I love you guys. I can't wait to see you face-to-face -face again real soon. And I will talk to you later.